Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. In this video, we got a little project here for the mini dozer. So the Kubota B2601 is, I, I call them Mighty Mouse. This thing is incredible. We got a little driveway project. We're gonna remove an oak tree. We're gonna do some uh, grading with um, you know, some new gravel and just kind of prep the surface. So this is actually a two-part series. Um, just kind of showing what this Kubota can do. And like I said, I, I call it Mighty Mouse. It's an incredible tractor for how big it is. So stay with us guys and remember, keep it in the timber. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, let's get right to it. I'm just gonna kind of explain the project and uh, what I plan to do and the tools I want to use. So I'll walk you around here. All right, so uh, as I mentioned, the Kubota B2601, you can see the loader, uh, loader there. Um, you know, this loader is very strong, but remember, you know, this is a tractor, okay guys? A tractor is not a skid steer. And so you wanna be careful about that. You see how those arms, you know, they, they extend away. There's not a whole lot of support there. So if you're gonna be ramming this into a tree stump like I'm gonna attempt to do, you, you want to make sure that you do it carefully, okay? Because you can bend your loader super easy, especially a tractor this size. Um, it's got plenty of power, and if you come at it with some speed, you're going to bend your loader. So, you know, when I call it Mighty Mouse and a Mini Dozer, you got to take that with a grain of salt, all right? It's not a skid steer. But I'm going to take caution. I'm going to go about this um, and use leverage and just, you know, not push the tractor beyond its capability. The other thing that we're going to use here, guys, is uh, the Land Pride. Uh, back blade so you can see here the RB1672 is going to help me uh, kind of prepare the surface there and uh, you know we've got some gravel over here so I actually got started on the project already and had some camera failures but I was basically just making some room um, so we're going to go use the dump trailer there's my dump trailer Lamar 16 foot gooseneck it's awesome um, we're going to go get some gravel um, and add to this. And actually, I've got too many trailers for this little spot here. And I'm actually, what I'm trying to do is widen this a little bit. That's why this tree is in the way. So we're going to take this oak tree out. It's kind of a weird leaner anyway. You know, it's kind of reaching for the sunlight there. So I hate cutting new trees down. It's not my thing. I like to do the dead ones. But this one's just in the way and not that great a tree. So we're going to take that out. We're going to prep this surface and actually the driveway is just getting a little bit wider not a big project right guys but uh it'll show what the what the tractor can do and i bought this uh enclosed trailer for my harley and, and so i need a place to park that so we're going to actually extend this gravel and uh, get it more towards the wood yard because basically i can't get anything to grow on here anyways not enough sunlight and i'm always driving on it so time to pave it so that's uh that's the project let's get after it in the intro I plan to use the B2601 to take a stump out you can see me going at it here is the B2601 or the tractor the best tool to take a stump out obviously not um, a stump grinder or an excavator is going to be able to do a much better job be able to do much bigger stumps 
Um, but this is what I have to work with right now. And uh, I didn't feel like paying uh, for a stump grinder. So, and you know, this isn't a giant tree by any means. It was probably, uh, you know, four inches, five inches in diameter. It is an oak tree, but um, not, not super uh, hard to get out of the ground. However, uh, you want to go about this in a kind of a workmanlike manner and be careful because you can bend your loader. Um, you can see I started with a longer stump and that's kind of the first tip I'd like to give you guys is that you know when, when you're cutting that tree down just cut it off a little higher up it gives you a lot more leverage to push against and then the second thing is you know you want to have some patience and work from the sides and and start to cut these um, roots um, as you can see I'm digging into the sides I keep pushing and keep loosening um, you know I'm not trying to take that stump out in one quick quick bite with the bucket. I'm, I'm working at it slowly here and basically getting it loose and, and breaking roots off as I go. So, um, you know, as I was working through, I was able to get this thing pretty darn loose, but um, this situation, I'm only able to work at it from one side. Obviously, uh, if I had access to this stuff from the other angle, I would come at it and, and be able to pop this a lot sooner. So uh, I did the best I could here, and you can see I just kept digging a little deeper the ground gets a little looser um, and I was able to to knock things loose here but again it takes some patience and um, you know you want to do it little one bite at a time and just make sure that you don't stress out that loader too much um, so yeah I, I was basically um, able to finally knock it loose here and uh, I ended up getting rid of it by you know cutting it down and then um, and putting it on the bonfire pit but uh, yeah sometimes you do um, you have to cut some things you know I was able to get a, uh, a saw in here and cut one of the roots loose and I just threw it in the bucket and uh, was able to dispose of it but not too big of a project for the B2601 but you know kind of demonstrates its capability it does have some limitations but yet you know in a pinch it does a really good job on stumps <music>
right, guys. It's going to probably wrap it up for part one. So I got a, got the ground all prepped here, and uh, I just need some material now. So we've been going to the rock quarry and getting a few dump truck, dump trailer loads of uh, gravel. But, uh, you know, kind of laid the foundation here, and, um, you know, my trailer's got a spreader gate, so that'll help, and uh, we'll make the B2601 do some more work here. Here's what's left of that tree. I've been staring at that tree for years and finally decided it had to go. But uh, there's a stump and there, all the brush is gone. But yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for part two. And remember, everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye-bye.